a computer built for a uh, small home office. Start with the case. This case has a pre-mounted power supply, which you can see in here. There's the switch. And the next component, motherboard bundle. There's a damage in there that happened probably in the delivery, but let's hope that everything is fine. So let's unbox this. That is the back panel. It's probably the manual. Drivers. Two SATA cables. That's the CPU manual. CPU box. And just be careful if you take this out not to uh, break anything. Well, it looks like this damage was just on the box. So this is fine. And as you can see, everything is pre mounted. If you take this out, try not to uh, grab it with your fingers. You just hold it like this and put it on the table. So we have a CPU and CPU cooler pre mounted. We have RAM pre mounted, that is uh, 4 GB in total. And now there is a um, back panel which needs to go first. But first we have to open the box up. I always like to put it like this, that's the best way. So we undo the screws. Open the box up. First you want to just move these cables on the side, just get them out of your way. Let's extract this from here. These are the motherboard mounts, the beep speaker. And the first thing you want to do is uh, see where the mounting uh, screws need to go. So we'll open this up. Just put them somewhere where they don't get in your way. And these are the mount screws for the motherboard. And in order to uh, put them in place you first have to see where the motherboard has the holes. They are usually surrounded with a bit of metal. So uh, if the motherboard has pre-mounted CPU you can easily lift it from here. That shouldn't be a problem. And if you put it in here we see that uh, it takes two screws in there. And uh, so we use six screws in here. We put uh, two in here, one in there, one in there and two in there. So. Uh, Need just six of these and just put them in place. Just have to hand tighten them, but uh, sometimes, like right now, it's a bit stuck, so uh, just need the pliers to make sure it's uh, properly done. And just do the same for uh, all the other ones. Right, so I have fitted all these uh, screws in there, the mount screws, or the mount base, or whatever you want to call it. So, um, next thing we open up this, the back panel. That was not supposed to happen. So, to fit the back uh, panel, first you need to check from the motherboard which way it goes. So, uh, you can see it goes this way. It's very easy, you just put it in place and uh, just put some pressure on all the edges. They don't always go very easily, but they just have to find the right angle. And there we go. <coughs> Next, we lift the motherboard in place. Just make sure not to uh, slide it on these mounts, otherwise, you might end up damaging the motherboard. So, uh, that's the best way to put it. And the motherboard screws to find which ones fit, you can use just one of these and make sure that the screw fits perfectly. So it's this kind of screws, we need uh, six of these. And so you use these screws. It's best to uh, start off from somewhere where you can easily get to. Actually, I just forgot one of the small things. Should put these uh, 
washers between the screw if you're wondering how tight the screw should be well uh, leave the first one quite loose so uh, you can put the next one and always put it uh, as far as possible across from that so we put it in that corner in there and this one you can tighten it up not too tight but not too loose either so uh, then just uh, fit other screws so the next thing is to uh, connect up these uh, front panel uh, switches and the LEDs and every motherboard kind has this in here it shows you that this is the one so all you do is just read what it says on these uh, wires and you just connect them the right way you also have to note the plus and minus on this one uh, plus is obviously the orange one and minus is the white one so same in here some of them say it plus and minus some don't if it doesn't have it then the white one should always be the minus so uh, can't really go wrong with that and then you just find the same place in the motherboard which should be this one and just uh, connect them up and we should be done so the wires are all connected up I also connected this uh, beep speaker this is also shown in the motherboard manual plus and minus and next we have uh, USB, the front panel USB and the HD audio cables that's also shown in the manual or you can just read from here it says USB so we just plug that in the blue is usually USB free but it doesn't really matter so uh, hide the cables and this must be the audio one it says uh, communication one but I'm not sure I always connect the HD audio one this is also, no it's not, this is not the correct one, the audio is there, I missed it and white one is there, the audio one, so you can't even connect it into this one because the pin layout is different, so and there we go you can't do much cable management there here because uh, there are no holes on the back panel so you have to just leave them as they are that's the best I can do with this this is the last thing actually, so I'm going to leave that in there. So next we're going to mount the video card. And then we put the hard drive and then it should be ready. DVD drive is not in here, but that's going to be mounted later. So first we go with the video card. Which is here. It's quite basic. That should be enough for HD movies and maybe even for some games so that's the graphics card itself quite simple you can try not touching the board itself just uh, hold it from the sides and let's see what else we can find in here that's an S uh, video cable Never even seen one of these. And that's the drivers. Pretty nice casing for that. And there is a quick installation guide. We don't need any of this. So I just put the box aside. And let's mount it. This computer seems to be having a different mounts, so we first have to do this one. It's not even coming out. And then we can access this in here, so uh, <coughs> just take this panel off. And now we put the graphics card in here. The cables are a little bit of problems, so we just uh, put them on the side. Try to just put the graphics card over these wires to uh, Keep them out of the way, and you simply push the graphics card down in there, and put the screw back, and then it's done. Then you might have to like uh, hold it a little bit to 
get it in there. And again, before you tighten the screw, just push the graphics card upwards and then tighten the screw. And you're done with it. Then we put back this panel. Doesn't get a stand on its own, so I have to hold it. Don't like this panel, I don't even know why it's there for. Maybe just to make it look better. And that's it with the graphics cards. So uh, next we have a hard drive. Here's the hard drive. This is a two terabyte Seagate. Just carefully open it up. And try not touching any of this area, the rest of it should be fine, so uh, just find a good place for the hard drive where it's uh, as far away from the other hardware as possible. Just slot it in, you see there are two screw holes, actually three. It doesn't really matter where you put the screws as long as they just uh, go somewhere in there. Just find the screws, these should be the correct ones. If they don't go in, just try another screw. Yes, these are the correct ones. You don't need to put the screws on the other side of the hard drive. It is enough if you just uh, put screws on one side. And you're done with the hard drive. So uh, <coughs> Next we uh, connect up the power actually, which is here. The power cables from the power supply. So a bit of a mess in here. I think it's just better if I just cut through that. Just make sure not to cut the wires itself. So uh, <coughs> there we go. So the first thing is to uh, give the power to motherboard. There is only one way it can go, this uh, bracket holds it in place from that. So you just hold it in there and just push it in place, that's it. That is done. Just make sure to keep the wires uh, away from the fan, just put them like... Uh, where there is not much place to where to put it in, but we'll just leave it for now. The graphics card, this one is uh, one of the lower powered ones, so you don't need the uh, graphics card power. This power supply doesn't even have a PCI E uh, power, so uh, <coughs> next is the CPU power, which is that one in there. So this just slots in there the same way. Can only go one way, clicks in place and you're done. And again try to just keep it out of the way a little bit. Maybe on the side just under the motherboard just a little bit and well should be good enough. And here is the other power cables. This is a SATA one. So uh, this can also go just one way. You can see this is a small L shape in here. And you just put it into the hard drive. That's it. Once the hard drive is connected, then we connect the SATA cable. This is again the same thing, it can just go one way. Let's try to hide the cable a little bit. And it absolutely doesn't matter in which uh, port you put it in, so just pick an empty one and just put it in there. And well, you're done with this, so uh, you might want to just tighten up the cables somehow and uh, then it's time to put it up and see how it works. Alright, and everything is assembled, so it's time to uh, put it up for the first time. Let's see if this 
screen colors, huh? There we go. Power switch was off from the back, so there we go. 